welcome to this Vscaler Deep Dive. Today we're going to be looking at the OpenStack High Availability, or HA, with Masakari. We're presenting three Masakari worker components in this demo, the instance monitor, the host monitor, and the process monitor. The first of these components, the Masakari instance monitor, allows for instance HA, which means it can automatically resurrect an instance that has failed due to a problem with its virtualization process. On the right, you can see a list of instances running on vScaler, with OpenStack installed on them. It's a pretty basic setup with one controller node, one network node, one Ceph storage node, and two hypervisors. On the left, we'll be interacting with this OpenStack on OpenStack deployment. As you can see, Compute0 and Compute1 are seen as QMU hypervisors in this terminal. So there's currently one instance running on the platform. And in order to turn this instance into a HA instance, we have to first set the HA enabled property on it. So as you can see, our test instance is running on compute one. And its name on the hypervisor is instance 14. Let's log into the hypervisor hosting this instance. As you can see, the Masakari instance monitor is currently running on the hypervisor and it's keeping an eye on our test instance, which we can see here. Just notice that the instance is currently up and running. Now we're going to simulate an instance failure by killing the QMU process for this particular instance. And as you can see, our test instance is now down. Just going to wait a couple of seconds and check the status of our instance again. And as you can see, a few seconds later, the instance has bounced back on its own. On the left, these are the config files Masakari worker processes will need to out the demonstration. For now, you can just ignore the process list.yaml file. This is where Masakari workers store their logs. And here's a quick peek into the log file for the instance monitor. As you can see, the instance monitor worker sent a notification about our test instance going down pretty much immediately. And before we wrap up this section, let's have a check at how our instance is doing. Next, we're going to look at Masakari host monitor, which allows for the host high availability. This component keeps an eye on hypervisors and can migrate instances off of a failed host. Again, our OpenStack platform's Masakari is on the right, and we'll be interacting with it on the window on the left. Here's our test instance again. And we're just going to make sure that Masakari HA is enabled for it by setting the HA enabled property. In order for host high availability to work, we first have to define a segment. We then add hypervisors that we want Masakari to keep an eye on into the segment. Here, both Compute0 and Compute1 have been added as non-reserved hosts. Masakari allows for you to add reserved hosts to a segment, which are not used for scheduling instances, but in fact stay in reserve and can accept instances from fallen hypervisors. And again, we log into the hypervisor hosting our test instance to confirm that it's up and running. This time, Masakari host monitor is running on the host. Bear in mind that the same process is running on compute zero as well. Now, under the hood, the host monitor uses CoroSync and Pacemaker to check the status of the hypervisors. Here we can see that both Compute0, which is 192.168.17.16, and Compute1, which is 192.168.17.14, are members of the same CoroSync cluster and they're both up and running. So let's simulate a hypervisor failure by shutting down one of the hypervisors.
We'll now check the status of our hypervisors. And we can see the compute one is down. And when we check where our instance is now, we can see that it's been migrated to the other fully working hypervisor. And a quick peek into the host monitor logs confirms that the host monitor sees our other hypervisor as being offline. In the last part of this demo, we look at the process monitor, a master carry component that monitors and resurrects processes. This covers cases in which the host itself is up and running, but LibVirt or Nova have failed. Aside from such cases, the process monitor can be used to ensure other master carry components are running consistently. This time we log straight into one of the hypervisors. And we can now see that a master carry process maker component running on this host. We'll specify the processes we want master carry to monitor by adding them to the process list.yaml file. In here, we define what the name of the process is and which commands to run in order to start or restart the process. In this particular deployment, Nova Compute is containerized, so we'll tell Massacara to run Docker commands. Now let's simulate a failure of the libvirt-d process just by killing it. Notice that the libvirt-d process is running, but now with a different process ID, and its timer is back to zero, so we know that this is a newly launched process. And a quick peek at the process monitor logs confirms as such. This concludes our vScaler demo on high availability with Mass Carry. If you have any questions or want further info, you can contact us at info at or simply visit our website www.vscaler.com.